Saturday we had visitors at the boat. Thomas's parents came and they brought、um, a couple friends of theirs as well to help with some new projects because just because we have visitors doesn't mean we have time off. So they helped with the welding of the new mount for the wind steering vane. Thanks again! And then Thomas fitted the wind vane onto the boat with a couple of screws and bolts and things. Okay, Thule is going in the water tomorrow, hopefully, if the h a r b o r m a s t e r understood everything correctly. And、um, the last thing that we will do is install the Ubiquiti bullet at mast top, somewhere here. And、um, yeah, well, the discussion about where to place the Wi Fi antenna、uh, is as alive as it could be, but we're going to place it at the mast top. We have easy access to it via the mast steps. and We like the,、uh, the reach that we have up there. So, this is the, this is the titanium version of the bullet. This is a 9 decibel、uh, antenna. And、um, yeah, so we only have to steal the antenna, plug in the already placed cable, and then wrap everything up. The, the seal just pops in here, and then when you screw this tight, it'll automatically seal the whole unit. Like this, you see. As an additional measure, I'm probably going to go over with the、uh, amalgamizing tape. This is not going to fall off. So, let me tell you about all the things that we did now while we were on the heart. First, we have new anchor light, a new VHF antenna, the old one broke. We have the new Ubiquiti Bullet Wi Fi antenna. LED lights in here, LED lights in here. This, those are our deck lights. And new cables for the Wi Fi and the wind meter. New wind meter. We renewed the anti fouling. New zinc anodes. We mounted our wind pilot. We'll talk you through how the wind pilot works in an upcoming video for sure. It's quite the interesting and old、uh, hardware. Decided to take a break from the usual arduous boatiness. Since we now live in Holland, we haven't had a day out in the most nearby real city, which is Rotterdam. So we took the day and we found this really cool, super hipster place, kind of on accident. And here it is. There's Thomas waiting for 
our hummus. I am here with a nice espresso and pecan brownie and the seating. We can oversee the water and the harbor. into this place on accident. It's like a gold mine. Water taxis are part of the public transportation and we decided to jump on the chance to ride on one. We decided to go to the historical harbor by taking the slowest water taxi available. A really large bridge and it opens up and we're pretty excited because while we are stopped at the bridge we happen to see a crane being pulled by a tiny tugboat and it wasn't just any crane it was one we had read about just a week before that had been used to deploy the ocean cleanup uh, prototype in the North Sea if you're not familiar with this project you should check it out the link will be below So the mast is back up, uh, now it's just a matter of tightening the shrouds and stays to the right tension and um, the previous owners of the boat recommended a technique that is uh, using a measuring stick, two meters of length, that's the, uh, the metric measuring stick, always two meters. And um, what else do you need? You need some tape. You need a screwdriver to tighten the turnbuckles and you need a uh, wrench that fits the top. And eventually you will need a second uh, measuring device and I'm using this whatever it's called in English too. So I found a little article on the, on the technique to find the right tension of the stays and the shouts. And the idea is you tape a measuring stick a full the full length of the measuring stick to the to the shroud a stay and you fit it exactly on the on the top of the terminal here and then you start to tighten the turnbuckles and as soon as the um, as you tighten them the the shroud or the stay will obviously stretch and you want it to stretch to 50% of its breaking load and what the article found out was that no matter how thick or dense the, the shrouds and stays are, the material, you are at 15% of the braking load if the measuring stick with the full length of 2 meters hovers 3 millimeters over the terminal. And you're at 50% of the braking load, that's where you want to be. So we're going to test this out right now.
information, you should follow us on social media. We'll be leaving soon, so it'll be a lot harder to keep up to date. You can find us everywhere at Two Aboard Tuli. See you next time!